may share the same iForce name, but Tundra's new engine is light years ahead of the previous 5.7 liter V8. This all new 3.5 liter V6 is not only more efficient, but more powerful as well. It's all thanks to a new turbocharged design. Put simply, turbocharging uses a process called forced induction, which basically involves adding a compressor fan that enables the engine to take in much more air and fuel than it would naturally, giving it an on-demand ability to effectively become bigger than it really is. Through this, we can get power output like a big V8 when it's needed, and the efficiency of a regular V6 when it's not. In its core configuration, this engine can produce 389 horsepower and a whopping 479 pound-feet of torque. More importantly, however, is that this new mountain of torque also occurs much lower in the power band, with a flat torque curve that has peak torque coming in at just 2400 RPM. This low-end grunt makes it vastly more usable for both everyday driving and heavy-duty situations, since the engine doesn't need to be revved up to redline to deliver its full power. Part of the reason Tundra's turbochargers can perform like this is thanks to their electric wastegate system. Wastegate valves are what determine the turbocharger's behavior, and this electric design allows for precise operation that ensures optimum responsiveness, power, and efficiency. Whether the vehicle is starting up, cruising under low load, or at maximum acceleration. Naturally, a pair of high-tech turbochargers isn't all this engine has to offer. With an engine this advanced, cooling is everything. Up on top of the engine, there's a water-cooled intercooler system, which uses radiators on either side of the primary radiator to cool airflow and improve turbocharger performance. Similarly, a water-cooled exhaust manifold is integrated into the cylinder heads to help keep engine temperatures under control, as does an electronically controlled fan coupler. Meanwhile, a new D4ST dual injection fuel system further enhances efficiency by using both direct and port injection methods to handle fuel going in, while a pair of catalytic converters mounted immediately after each turbocharger helps manage exhaust gas emissions as it comes out. And even the piston structure itself has been redesigned to reduce friction and improve longevity. Naturally, performance and efficiency are kept in mind for the engine itself, which can be seen in the lightweight design of key components, like the hollow camshafts and the aluminum die-cast cylinder heads. All told, this is one seriously advanced engine. But what if that wasn't enough? Well then, meet Toyota's first iForce Max. It builds on the amazing iForce engine by adding an all-new hybrid electric power system. But this is no hybrid vehicle as you know it. This one-motor hybrid system is designed not just for efficiency, but also power. By adding a healthy helping of electric torque into the mix, iForce Max puts Tundra's power output into the stratosphere. Ready for the numbers? 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. And yes, it's still served up at that perfect low RPM range for incredible usability and acceleration. Plus, thanks to the electric motor's immediate torque response, there's no discernible lag as the turbochargers spool up, so all that power feels instantaneous. The icing on the cake is that, yes, it's a hybrid, so efficiency figures are also incredible. And don't forget, that efficiency comes from the same powertrain that also makes nearly 600 pound-feet of torque. Again, this is a completely different design from previous Toyota hybrids. A parallel hybrid system with a motor generator and clutch located between the engine and standard torque converting automatic transmission. Even the hybrid battery design is enhanced, located under the rear seat and featuring a comprehensive cooling system that optimizes durability and cabin comfort. But ultimately, this entire system is designed to deliver that perfect balance of refinement, power, and efficiency in any situation. Whether that's pulling a boat up a hill or circling the parking lot using only the electric motor.